Hi, I'm Jill with the Mobile Public Library, and today I want to tell you about three of our services. They're all kind, they're a little, all a little bit different from each other, but they're all kind of similar. Um, the three services I want to tell you about are children's book bundles, uh, teen bookish bags, and your next book. Um, these three services are all ways that you can fill out a form and give us some information about what you like, and then we will pick out books for you which can be very useful um, if you can't get to the library or you don't want to get to the library or you come to the shelves and you know, you're know you trying to browse but you get kind of overwhelmed with all the choices. Um, this makes it very simple. You tell us what we like, we'll get the books ready for you and you come by and pick it up at the checkout desk or through curbside. Um, if that sounds at all interested, interesting to you, um, keep watching. I am going to go through each service individually and show you how it works and what's a little bit of what the little differences are between the three services. Um, so keep watching and um, I am going to pull up my screen and do a screen share and um, I'll show you how you can request these different um, book bundles, bags, so on. Okay, to locate the three services, uh, first off we'll start with the children's book bundles. Uh, because it's for children, you go to kids and you go to book bundles. And then uh, for book bundles, you can select picture books, uh, beginning readers, which is like chapter books, um, kids subject bundles, which would be your nonfiction items, and then just accelerated reader books. And then, you know, you pick what category you want to request from. Uh, let's just say um, beginner reader bundle. And you do want to choose which location you want to pick it up from. And then you will just fill out, you know, your name, your library card number, email, phone number, um, how old the child is. Um, if you want to put a gender in there, um, you know, you can. Um, I know it's somewhat controversial about boy books versus girl books, um, but you know your child best. So you can say whether they want to um, read books aimed at boys or aimed at girls or if it doesn't matter, really matter. Um, and then you can select a reading level so they know which, you know, how challenging a book to get. Um, and then um, you can add any other comments or additional information you want. Now this is where you would put like subject type stuff like uh, you want books that are similar to the Dork Diaries or you would like um, books that are um, fantasy or humor books or historical books. Um, whatever sort of subject matter that uh, you think your child would be interested in reading. You can put as much information as you want on here. Um, you can also uh, split your bundle. So um, this is going to give you 10 books. So you could say um, five humor books and five history books. Uh, you just let the librarians know what you want and we will um, get your request and um, pull the books and then you'll get a email or a text message notification or a phone call to say your books are ready to go and then you just have to come by the library and check them out. Um, now the second um, option we have is the bookish bags and that is for teens so we'll go to teens and we'll go to bookish bags and now this one's a bit different than the others. Um, this is a monthly thing. It's not a subscription service, so if you want one for a month, you've got to request it that month, you know, the, the previous month. Um, so which they have to know by the 15th of the prior month if they want to get a book on the first of the next month. So for example, um, right now I am filming this video on March 9th, so we're before the 15th of March, um, so that means I am in time to put in a request and get a request get a bookish bag on uh, the in the first week of April. Again, this is one of those you fill out the form, you know, you, you give them the library card number and email address and who this is for and your contact information um, and then where you want to pick it up and then, you know, check mark what kind of books you like, um, give them a little, you know, more information about what you've read, what your favorite ones are so we can be like, okay, if you really like this, you'll probably like this other book. Um, and um, you can also select if you want one, two, or three uh, books, and then you submit the message, and then we will put you on the list to receive the next bookish bag. And like I said, it's not a subscription service, so if you get uh, a bag this, you know, for April, 
you would have to then put in a request before the 15th of April to get one in May. We're working on making a subscription service, but right now we are not there. Um, one of the benefits to the bookish bags is uh, they're not just books. Um, they actually is a bag with some books and some, you know, a, a button, a bookmark, and maybe some other little treats. I'll put in an image of one of our previous month's bookish bags so you can see what I'm talking about. So this one is a little bit more special than the other two because you get the extras um, in the bag, uh, but it is also a little bit more difficult to request because you know you have to request it before the 15th and you have to request it each month um, and then it will only be filled at the beginning of month so if you've missed your window you gotta wait till the following month uh, so in that way it's a little more limiting but it's a little more fun too so um, it's well worth the trouble of you know watching marking your calendar and requesting your books at the appropriate time to get your little fun package okay so that brings us to our third option and that is the your next book it's actually at the top of the um, top of the website and if you are on our home page it'll still be right there at the top of the website uh, this one is um, this one instead of actually going ahead and pulling the books for you they're actually just gonna send you recommendations and if those recommendations don't sound interesting you can email back and say um, you know, I don't like this because of this reason or that reason or I've already read these and they will send you some more recommendations or you can email back and say oh yeah those sound good put them on hold for me and then at that point we will pull them for you um, again you put in your information so we can uh, contact you back um, you put in what formats you're interested in uh, so if you need book on CD or large print um, you can check mark that there so we will make sure we only give you recommendations that you know apply to your format needs uh, and the the same thing if you want digital ones from Hoopla or Cloud Library uh, you can also say that um, and we will give you uh, recommendations of things that you can get on those platforms so that if you don't want to come into the library and get print physical items uh, you don't have to um, and again um, you can uh, select that you are interested in children's or teens material so if you're a teen and you're interested in the bookish bag but you want more than three books a month you can go through the your next book and request at any time for more book recommendations um, and then put in your details about um, what you like what you don't like um, what do you you know what do you what are you looking for in a book um, list some books that you have read in the past and tell us about them the more detail you can give us here the better our recommendations will be okay, now that you have seen the forms for the three services and how to get to them on our website you can see it's very simple to access and you just need to fill in your information and then we will get you either you know a, a bundle of books a bag of books and some treats or some recommendations that we can put on hold for you and you know it's very a simple straightforward process and you can get your uh, materials you know, just drop by pick them up and go without having to come in and browse yourself um, and I also want to mention that if you do not want to go through the online thing or um, you're thinking about this last minute feel free to always just call us and ask for us ask for it over the phone I mean even if you are parked outside at curbside service you can always call us up and tell us you know I need 10 romance novels and we'll be happy to pull them for you right then and there and bring them out to you so you don't have to uh, do the forms in advance um, to get like readers advisory service we are always happy to take your calls and we will again do our best to find you the materials you want um, I will leave direct links to the three services in the information box below this video um, and I hope you give them a try. I think you will be very pleased with the service um, and you may find some things that you really enjoy that you never would have uh, found on your own. And um, if you have any questions about these services or anything else to do with the library, leave me a comment down below. Um, as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.